Hey guys, thank you for watching. For this video, I wanted to review the iWall 2.0. I was just allowed to put a weight on my ankle so that I don't need this one anymore. But before I put it away, I wanted to make a review so that I can kind of show you the modifications that I made. First thing that I want to uh, talk about is the fact that I was losing muscle mass on my legs, so it got skinnier and skinnier. And the padding that came with this uh, iWall 2.0 wasn't thick enough. And so as you can see, it, it, it got flat really quick. Uh, so I went to the hardware store and I bought some of this cushion. I uh, tried to cut it as best I could to the uh, to the curve of the iWalk 2.0, and then I just placed it on top, and so that allowed my bone to sit right in the center, and it gave it enough cushion that it wasn't hurting uh, from from the pressure of being on top of this uh, hard plastic. They recommend that you start out with a, a little bit of shorter of a length. So once you get used to balancing on it, then they recommend you either go even or a little longer. Uh, so that way, um, you're a little bit more comfortable. You can actually walk a little bit faster that, that way. Otherwise, you kind of go in like this if it's still too short. I also started wearing this right here because when I have this on my leg, uh, I, I don't have access to my pocket. So then all this stuff would end up being on one pocket, uh, including the back pocket. I didn't have access to that either. Uh, and so I started using this temporarily, but I really like it. So now I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a permanent thing that I, uh, that I, that I wanna do. So I'm gonna put this on so I can show you guys uh, how it ended up uh, so first this one it gets really really tight uh, and, and you don't feel the pressure it doesn't really hurt uh, this one right here when you make it tight it starts hurting over here when you wear it a long time so I ended up having to put like a uh, small towel back here just to release some of that pressure from the strap because the strap will start getting uh, painful after a while and this one would just go normally uh, uh, thankfully I had an ankle injury so I can use this it wouldn't affect my injury or my scar at all so one thing you notice in the beginning and they want you to have a shoulder like I mentioned and so you end up kind of kind of hopping like uh, walking like this uh, it's good in the beginning but eventually uh, you want to have it a little longer and you're gonna notice that you're gonna start actually swinging your leg initially when I started to walk straight I would get caught and then I would kind of stumble uh, and uh, by actually swinging my leg, it's not good for the hip uh, long term, but short term it helps you from stumbling. So once you're able to take it off, you want to start walking straight again and kind of avoid uh, swinging too much to the left or right because it starts hurting. What I noticed is because most of the time my weight uh, was on my left side, my left ankle was really in pain a lot of the times from you know taking up all that weight. But now that I can uh, add weight to my right ankle, then I started to kind of go away. For the most part, I love this because it gives me my hands back. Even when I stumble, I still have my hands available so that if I fall, I can, I can break my fall with my hands instead of having crutches and then having to let go of the crutches or get stuck, you know, tumbling and falling face first to the ground. So this is really helpful, definitely worth 150 bucks, but obviously if you can get it for cheaper or used, uh, that's all you need. You're only gonna need it for about a month. In my case, it was about a month. I really like it. It's definitely, definitely something that I recommend. As soon as you can get off of it, get off it so that you don't end up hurting your back or your hips or your, uh, you know, other, other leg. And so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions below. Thank you for watching guys remember i'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family so on top of my weekly vlogs i'm also going to put videos on how i plan to generate money on the road how i save money how i become a minimalist and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement uh, if that's something that interests you please subscribe to this channel click right here to see the latest upload click here to see videos that relate to this video right here don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever i upload new videos and also if you like this video please hit the like button thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye